Good afternoon, everyone. I am back with another prophetic word of encouragement. This morning when I was sitting before the Lord, I heard him say, let go of the remnants to embrace the new. And so the Lord, this is, I'm just going to read from my notes. This is what he downloaded to me. He says, stop holding on to the debris of last season and trying to use it as building materials for the new. It is not a loss if he says, let go. He has new materials and new tools for you to use in this season, but you will miss it if you refuse to let go of the remnants. You will have an outcome that is mingled with what was supposed to die off and the new will not spring forth because it will be contaminated. And so I just encourage you right now, God is doing something new in the earth. He is doing something new in his people. He is doing something new in his church. And the tools that we used last season can, that those same tools that helped us there can become a hindrance in this new season. So I, I, I highly encourage you, get before the Lord, uh, find out what he wants you to build with in this season. There are things, thank you, Holy Spirit, there are things that are shifting. Your schedule is shifting. The time you go to bed will not be the time you may go to bed anymore. Your, the time you wake up may not be the time that you wake up anymore. Uh, what you do in your spare time will change. Your relationships will change. All these things have to change. It is great. Thank you, Lord. It is great to think that, Lord, just get me to that place and then I'll do everything you want me to. It doesn't work like that. You've got to, you've got to get in alignment now to be taken to where, where he's promised to take you. A lot of times we are are our own hindrance we are our own um our own delay we are our own tool of delay we can work against ourselves in great ways and so i just encourage you to let go of it all it doesn't even matter thank you lord if you were building something for the lord and you don't want to let it all go because you think it'll be wasted. You think that how can I recover or why was it okay then, but it's not okay now. I'm going to let you know that God is doing something new and what he's doing requires things to be totally new. I had a uh, YouTube channel before this channel and I didn't have a ton of subscribers, but I had, you know, over, over a hundred or so. And, um, I didn't really stream on there and I was tempted to just keep my channel, but change the name of it. But the Lord said, no, the whole thing must be dismantled. Just like you dismantled all the Facebook, all your emails, all your Instagram, you got rid of everything. Do not try to hold on to anything and take it into the new place. Let God start from the very beginning. Don't, don't disobey God when he told, just like in the Bible, when he said to destroy everything and everyone, and some people kept things or some people did this, it contaminated everything. It contaminated everything. And God is saying in the season, we cannot do that. We cannot take what we think will be useful in the next place. We've got to dismantle everything. We got to have full trust and reliance that he is, is instructing us and he will build up that which he wants to build up. But we have to be willing to let go of everything, let go of our understanding and move into the new thing move into the new thing not all the time will we always even in ministry operate doing the same things as we once did there was a season a couple years ago i had been facilitating healing classes for uh, uh, different kinds of forms of abuse and abortion. And God told me to lay it all down, lay it all down. And there was a moment where it felt like defeat. It felt like loss, but it was necessary in order for me to get the new vision of where he was taking the ministry. And so I just encourage you and I stand before you as a witness of the Lord that nothing I have ever let go of did not come back greater, come back with a double portion, come back to me and in it's so important. Whatever we do, it has to be built by God. So if God only wants to build it to a certain level, let it be that level. Be okay with that. Be okay with that. Because if the Lord's presence is not with you in what you are building, you should not want it anyway. Because it is about Him. And it is about people. And we have to have the um, empowerment from on high to even let it be effective. So Again, let go of the remnants. Do not let the remnants of the past hinder and contaminate what God is doing in your future. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video.